Today, Kevin and I are going to be opening this Schwinn 170. This is an exercise bike. Uh, actually, Kevin's going to be assembling it for you. Um, so, if you like that kind of video, that's what you're going to see in this. You're going to see the assembly of this bike. Ashley wanted this bike because, well, she wanted an exercise bike in general because uh, she wanted something for days that it was rainy or cold or snowing and she's I'll get on the elliptical Ashley's not into the elliptical so um, Ashley really felt like she would like a bike, and I've so, done the bike before. yeah she's done a bike before she knows that she likes it she's done the um, what the spin classes and so she's thinking that she would really enjoy this so we ordered this from Amazon it was four hundred five dollars we did go to Dick's Sporting Goods and check the price of this bike compared with Dick's. And Kevin, what was the difference? It was. They were Amazon wanting. was like ten dollars. Ten dollars more. Ten dollars more at Amazon for this bike. However, they deliver this to the door and it's free. We have Amazon Prime, so it was free shipping. Whereas if we had gone to Dick's Sporting Goods and bought it, we would have had to have loaded it up in the car and worried about uh, getting it home and all that. So this way it was delivered on the doorstep and uh, it was worth the 10, uh, Kevin would tell you, it was worth the $10 to, not, not, have to, to not have to deal with it. So right now what he's gonna do is he's gonna take all of these pieces out. He's gonna take them out of the bags and he'll lay all of his pieces out on the floor so that he can see what he has. And then he'll look at the instruction book and see what he needs to do. Let me, um, let me get the garbage back in the box, open up some of the uh, instructions. Let me look through the instructions real quick and I'll be back. I am ready to go, got everything unboxed and ready to go. So I turned it around to the orientation of this is the same thing as the picture, which is always a good thing to do. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is put this, the side to side support bars on here. The first one we're gonna do is the, uh, the one with the wheels for the front. And the hardware for these are actually attached to the legs. So, just go ahead and take that all out. And the Allen wrenches were is uh, was in the little plastic thing here. You get an Allen wrench, this, and you get this little multi-tool with the wrenches and a Phillips screwdriver, and this little tool that was in there too. So, so you get the tools to put it together. The only thing you don't get is like the box knife and stuff like that. So it says to make sure the wheels are outwards. I'm just going to pick this up, line the holes up and screw it in place. And get it as tight as you can because nothing else you don't need to, you're, you're not going to need to come back and, and, uh, you don't need to leave these loose, that's what I'm going to say, for anything. Right. 
really good time. Kind of rotate it around. Yeah. And I get the back ones. And for the back, basically, you just want the logo out where you can see it, of course. I have to say, I'm surprised at how few parts this has. It really doesn't have a lot of um, parts to it. It has one, two, three, three, counting these, five, six, like seven major parts. And that's really about it, honestly, as far as big parts like this. And then the computer itself, um, and it's, it's just not very much. You can even see, that's how small the little screws and, and bolts package is. So, that's usually a, a lot bigger if you got a lot of parts to put on. So this one's pretty straightforward. So let me get these all tightened up and I'll be back. Okay, I got everything tightened down. So next thing you need is you need this, uh, the mask for the uh, computer and you need the plastic, the shroud, okay? So the deal is you're gonna have to lay, kind of pull your cables up where you can get to them. Like pull this one up. It's got a zip tie or a tie, a twist tie so you won't fall down in there. Be careful, don't take that off before you plug it in. And then the bottom of this mask also has um, a cable and it's zip tied or it's a tied at the top. So make sure you, you have, I had to pull it down a little bit just to get to it, but you don't want to just plug it in now because you have to put this plastic thing on first. So I think I can do this. Just don't snap everything in place. I think I'll be able to just pull this with my foot. and plug it in. And it only goes in one way. And I heard it, I heard it like snap, like uh, click. So that's, that's in there. So now I'm gonna pick this up a little bit. I could've slid that back a whole bunch. Just slide right down there. There you go. Um, take this off, make sure it's getting plugged in. And then this is gonna go down here. And you gotta make sure, make sure you don't get your cable stuck in there. Right? That would be bad. You don't wanna crimp and break your cable. And then this is gonna use bolts. Uh, let's see which ones does it use. Tell you what, if you if you got bad eyes, it's really hard to see them. Um, A, B, and C. So here's A, and you've got four of them, so that's what you have to use. B, which is these, and C, which is these. Four A's. Four B's. You notice there's more B's than A's, so that's fine. There's only one extra, so. Hello, cat. You gonna help me assemble this or what? <laughs> he said, nope, not interested. Let's see. And these, if you'll notice, are curved. They fit around my finger. No, they're curved. So what you'll do is you'll put that around the round part of the thing. So, you know, don't turn it like that. If the round part's like here, you don't want to put that there, you want to put it against it. So just, just be aware of that. So it gets um, two in the front and one on each side. And you put um, an A, a B, which is your lock washer, and then a C, which is just your little round washer. And I'm going to manipulate this a little bit. So. No, it wasn't bad at all. So it right, got went right in there. And I'm just hand tightening it right now. So this, this.
Like I said, make sure the cup is away from the, the head of the screw. One. Okay, I'm gonna make my Allen wrench and I'm gonna start tightening these up. And like I said, the, the washer should, um, the round part should flatten out to where it's pretty flat on there. And these are pretty tight, so. Okay, almost done. And I'll tighten them up the rest of the way when I get them all kind of pretty much tightened up. I kind of hold the washer in place so it won't um, turn around so it'll lay good and flat on there. So now just go around and make sure they're all good and tight. Because I would think this is going to get pretty good workout with the, uh, you know, pushing against it with your arms and holding on to it with your hands and pushing back and forth on it. You know, the, so you want to get it really good and tight. I'm sure that's why there's four bolts in this and not just two. So, um, all right, here's your next part. So you need this little plastic cover. We'll be using that. Um, I got parts out here. That fifth uh, lock washer that was B, you'll need that one. You'll need D. And you'll need this handle. So that's the four part or the three parts I have there. Um, you won't need your Allen wrench because that is your screw right here. And then I'm gonna lay these down for a second too. Hopefully the cat still attack them. And then you'll need the the handlebars, which go like that, like that. Um, they point away from you. So basically, what you do is here is the plug, and this was like. Um, just have rubber bands around it to hold it in place. So what you're going to do, if I can do it with one hand, I think I can do it. Um, this little tie goes through a slot and comes up through here. So what you want to do is you want to wrap this around here really good. It's not magic, just, just hook it on there. And then we want to be able to pull it up through that slot. right there I can see it there we go and we're gonna plug that into this oh no that's gonna just stay up there sorry that's gonna stay up there for the control panel let me strap this down so it won't fall back down inside there. Yeah, we don't want it to go anywhere. And then this is going to, you flip this up, it's, it's a hinge, and you're just going to put the handles in here. And this is all adjustable. So 
or you can have it higher or lower or whatever. And this is where you're going to have your three pieces. You're going to have, uh, hold that with a hand, hold that. You're going to put your regular washer, your flat washer on first, not your lock washer, and then put your lock washer on next. And then this is going to go into that hole and tighten it. And this cover goes over top of it. Let me get this wire pulled through just a little bit better. This just literally just pops on. Just like that. Okay, so uh, let me get the next parts and I'll be back. Next thing is the computer, a little console controller thing. So you get this, and they give you a little. Uh, adapter to plug your phone in uh, to the little speakers because it has speakers built into it. Now are they going to be great speakers? Probably not. <laughs> but they're speakers nonetheless. So there's this. Does it have the screws already in here? It does. So you take these screws out. Got a magic hand right here. Okay, stick them in the back pocket. And then we're gonna plug this in. And the plugs, you can see, you can see the plug, you got a big one and a small plug. So I'm gonna take these rubber bands off really carefully so I don't drop that down inside there. Thank you. I'm gonna plug that one in the big part. And then I'm gonna undo all my wiring, my funny wiring here. And it's gonna plug in down here. It only goes in one way, so it won't fit. Just turn it around. It snaps in. Make sure the cables are good in, going down the slot. You don't want it to uh, get kinked up anywhere. Okay, and then you're gonna put your four screws in there. Hard to get them lined up, you can't see them. Okay, the next thing you need is the seat post, the seat, this um, handle, knob, whatever, and you'll need your, your wrench. So there's a stop line on here. You have to make sure the stop line, when you're adjusting this, your height for your seat, you never go above that. So you're always gonna go uh, at least that far down. 
So you really don't want to go any uh, higher than that, which is pretty high. So I'm just going to put it, I'm going to put it down just a few. And then you put this in here, you tighten it up and it's got a little, like a little bump that sticks out on the end. That's what goes into the post. So yeah, do you like if I will slide out? You see it kind of popped in place. So you can pull it. And I guess you do have to unscrew it a little bit. Just like that. And that tightens it down to where it's fake. Okay, that's your seat post. And then you've got your seat, which is just the typical um, seat clamp. You put it on there, and I'm going to uh, tighten this wrench up, the, the bolts up to where it tightens around this little hole. So this will go around that. Just like that. And I just want to make sure it's straight. And then one of these, probably that one. Help. This one's going to tighten. Let's see that. This one controls the slide forward and backward. So I'm just going to tighten this up to where it doesn't wobble and I'll be back. Okay. Okay, now it's time to put the pedals on. If you look underneath, um, it took me a second to find it. It's right there. There's an L. I don't even know if the camera is going to capture it, but there's an, there's an L right there, right above my finger. So that goes on the left. This one says R, so that one's going to go, there's an R right there. And you just basically screw it in in place and then you're going to tighten it up with the wrench so pretty straightforward okay there we go you can't turn this part that just spins forever you have to actually tighten up underneath there so i'm going to do um tighten this one up completely and then I'm going to get the uh, left hand side and then I'll be back to show you. This one also has a strap on it and I'm, I didn't want to put it on because it, it would be in my way. But um, there's straps that go here. And... Oh, that's the left one. Sorry. It's got an L and an R on it. This one's going to R. This one goes on here. And then it's adjustable on this side. Just like that. Just pops over. So you can put your shoe, you, your like a, what do they call them? Uh, sh uh, shoe straps. So yeah, so I'm gonna tighten these up, get the other uh, pedal on, and I'll be back. All right, get the left one on. Just make sure you 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 put it on the correct way. It goes it goes um, counterclockwise, which is backwards from what you would normally tighten one uh, bolt up. But it has to be that way because if you didn't. Every time you pedal, it would it would want to back out. It would unscrew it, and un loosen it instead of tightening it. So uh, just be aware of that because I sit here for a minute going, "Why won't this stupid thing tighten up?" Well, that was why because I was turning it the wrong direction. So uh, so anyway, now I'm going back to tightening up. Okay, basically the last two things we really have to do. We can go ahead and pop this on. I could have popped it on a long time ago, but I wanted to make sure. So it just literally just snaps in place. And then this red gasket, I was wondering, what the heck is this red thing for? It literally just goes around there and, and I guess keeps dirt out of there. So, um, ta-da, that's done. And then here's the screws for the water bottle. Just take the screws out. At first, since they were in here, I thought it was going to be where you just slide it on. Well, on the screw, I thought it was going to be a slide on and slide it down and tighten them up, but it's not. And you have to take them completely out. Um, and by the way, there's extra pieces on this piece of paper. It says on there spares, spares replacements, or spare pieces. So if you run, if something doesn't work, it's, it's stripped out or whatever, you can uh, you can use those to, to put it on. Make sure I'm putting the right hole. So there's two little slots, one at the bottom, one at the top. So it's easier if you just kind of hold it in here and then turn it as you get it up there. 
At least that's what my goal is. Because my fingers are too fat to get it in there. There we go. There's one. basically tighten it down and, and that's it so uh, um, it's ready to plug in so I want to wrap up the video uh, about the bike uh, we put it to get Kevin assembled it as you saw but I want to tell you a few things about it I have used it uh, several times and I wanted to use it a little bit before you know I, I talked to you about it it's a really nice bike I love um, sitting it in front of the TV like this because um, I can watch the screen on, on the bike, but then I can also see the TV and it makes time go by quicker on the bike when you have something else to watch. Um, I like the seat. The seat adjusts back and forth to your comfort. And over here I can show you, um, it is very easy. You see, can you see these holes? It is very easy to, um, adjust this this is set for Kevin but now Ashley when Ashley uses it she has uh, two two holes showing and then when I use it I have three holes showing so we all have our own uh, adjustments we've all used this so I just want to show you um, I'm just gonna hop up here um, so you see it, tur it turned on because Kevin was the last one on here so if I want to go to me, we have uh, uh, me and uh, Kevin and Ashley here. So I want to go to user. And so there's no fourth user. If we added a member to the family, we could, you could add more users. Um, so there's Ashley and then I wanted to go to me. And then you can hit programs down here. And then I always just do fun rods that's just that's just something that I picked and then you can um, pick choose what you want to do so I, this is what I usually pick rolling heels so I, I also set it for 30 minutes each one of these little notches uh, if you're going for a whole 30 minutes is two minutes and every time you get to the end of one, it beeps. And I really like that because that beep lets you know you're going on to the next one. You've accomplished something. You finished the first, now you're going on to the second. It also helps when you're gonna be moving up. It beeps and lets you know, hey, you're getting ready to pedal harder. And then again, when it goes down, you're gonna be pedaling faster uh, because it's gonna get easier. Um, then it also, I like it that it tracks your program. I like it that it shows uh, when you're doing it. I, I, I guess I'll just start it for you. Um, I select uh, the goal uh, is on time right now. And I, I set it for 30 minutes just like I always do. And I'm going to hit OK. OK, so now I'm going to start working out. And I want to show you what I like about this. I like it that it shows you up here how much time I have left and this is showing how much time I've gone so far I've uh, 14 15 seconds and then you'll see how many miles you go uh, for 30 minutes it's like seven miles and my typical calories for uh, 30 minutes is like 150 calories and so I really really like this bike it's comfortable I'm impressed with it Normally, because I wear a Fitbit, um, can you, oh, I'm coming to show my arms. Because I wear a Fitbit, this may look stupid, but instead of putting my arms up here, I usually do this. And I, I just sit here the whole time like this. This is completely comfortable for me. The seat's very comfortable. I'll be honest, after about 15 minutes in, it gets sore. And by the time I get off the bike, uh, my rear end is a sore, but you know, you are exercising and um, it's, it's not going to be 
you know, completely plush and comfy, uh, you have to suffer a little bit, that's what I'm trying to say. But I really, really like the bike. When you get to the end, it beeps, it uh, keeps track of, um, of your progress, it keeps track of the, the calories, and um, I just really, really enjoy it. So, uh, Kevin, do you have anything else you want to say about it? No. No, you said it all? No, I said it all? Really? Oh. And well, how do you feel about it as far as comfort goes? It's good. It gets. It's a little sore. Um, you get a little numb sitting on it after a little while, but yeah, Kevin, uh, Kevin and Ashley both they go for 15 minutes, which um, is perfectly fine. Uh, and after 15 minutes, your your rear end will get sore. Now, see, did you hear it beep? It beeps because you'll see on the screen. I have gone on to the next. I, it took me two minutes and I've gone on to the, the second level and I've burned seven calories. So I really, really like this bike. I'm impressed with it so far. Very, very nice. Very glad we got it and I hope you enjoyed the video.